Hello, this is a lesson in using pivot tables in the HTC Data Use Tool. Using our sample data set, HTC underscore tool underscore Tanzania, please select the three tables tab. Here we see a pivot table. In this left window, we see a blank Excel spreadsheet with a smaller window indicating that it is a pivot table. And then on the right side, we see this pivot table field list. A quick tip, if the pivot table field list dialog box is hidden, there are two ways to unhide it. First, under the Options tab, in the Show Hide area, select Field List. The other option is within the pivot table, right click, and then select Show Field List. All the fields from your input sheet appear here in the upper right corner of the pivot table field list. You will be selecting the fields that address your question of interest from this upper right window and dragging them into these bottom four windows. A more meaningful table will appear over here in this left window. Let's get started with making a pivot table. We will answer the strategic question, what is the HIV prevalence and size of the population in each region or district? To answer this question, we would like to use the variables reported HIV prevalence and number of HIV positive individuals. Since we've already familiarized ourselves with the data and the inputs in the HTC tool, we know that the THMIS data source for year 2008 has data for both of these variables and this data is stratified by region, the age group 15 to 49, and the gender all or both male and female genders grouped into one category. We will use these indicators and stratifications to create our pivot table. First, let's filter the different indicators so only the stratifications we wish to see appear in the table. Filtering a field lets you focus on a subset of items in that field. So for data source, if we select the down arrow, select multiple items, and then uncheck all sources except for THMIS and select OK. For year, we want to only select 2008. For region, we want to see all regions, so we do not uncheck any boxes in this field. For gender, select all. And for age group, select 15 to 49. Okay, now we will build our pivot table. The report filter window down here should contain the data source and year. So from up here, let's click data source, drag down to the report filter window. Also select year and drag down to the report filter window. The column labels window should include the indicators you wish to see at the top of your table. So let's grab the indicator gender, bring it to the column labels window, and also age group. The row labels should contain the indicator you wish to see down the left side of your table, so over here. Let's select a region and bring to row labels. and then select reported HIV prevalence and drag to the values window and select number of HIV positive individuals and bring that to the values window. So now if we take a look at the pivot table on this left hand side we see that the reported HIV prevalence and number of HIV positive individuals by region in Tanzania appears to be one. This happens because the default summary option setting for pivot tables in Excel 2007 is count, which shows the unique number of items included in that cell.
we see that only one data point for these indicators is being displayed, or that each value only shows a single estimate. We want to change the field value settings to something that more meaningfully answers our strategic question. To do this, click on the downward pointing arrow next to the indicator reported HIV prevalence in the values window. Choose value field settings and under the summarize by tab you can choose how the value will be summarized. For reported HIV prevalence select average and then click OK to return to the pivot table. Now our pivot table is displaying the average of reported HIV prevalence. Now let's do the same for number of HIV positive individuals. Click on the downward pointing arrow next to the indicator. Choose value field settings. This time select max in the summarize by tab. Since only one single piece of data will be displayed, as demonstrated by the count, selecting either min or max will display the same value. Be sure to review the table and ensure the values in the table make reasonable sense. For example, if you looked back on this table and one of the cells showed that HIV prevalence was 100%, you'd want to check the source data to see why that number appeared there. To check the source data, double-click the cell with questionable data and you'll be directed to where the data is being pulled from in the Inputs tab. The final stage in making a pivot table is enhancing data visualization and readability of your table by adding heading titles and adjusting the default settings such as cell alignment and font. To change the heading of a column, click on the cell at the top of the column, place your cursor up in the text box at the top of the Excel spreadsheet, and type the preferred heading title. For this example, let's name this first column HIV prevalence percent, and then let's click on the second column with data, click up in this text box, and type number of HIV positive individuals. Now let's work on formatting our table. For the indicator number of HIV positive individuals, we want to see the data displayed with commas and no decimal places. To do this, highlight the cells in the number of HIV positive individuals column, right click and select format cells, under the number tab, be sure number is highlighted, reduce the number of decimal places to zero, and check the box that says use 1000 separator. Select OK to save your changes. To format the overall appearance of the entire table, highlight all the numbers in these two columns, right click, select format cells, under the alignment tab, select the arrow below horizontal and choose center. Click OK. Lastly, if you want to show borders around your cells, highlight all of the cells in your table, under the home tab, where you see this square, select the down arrow and here you can select the type of borders you wish to see. To highlight the header row so that it stands out from the other cells, highlight the top row of your table, right click, select format cells, under the fill tab, select a gray color. Now you have a wonderful table showing the HIV prevalence and the number of HIV individuals among males and females aged 15 to 49 by region in Tanzania. To be sure your table maintains its appearance and information, you want to copy this table and paste it into another application so you can continue to make more pivot tables within this tool. To copy a table, 
highlight the entire table. You can either right click, select copy, or using your keyboard shortcuts, you can select Control C. Open a new Microsoft application, could be Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint. Let's go ahead and open another Microsoft Excel workbook. Right click, select paste. And now you have your table pasted into a new workbook. One final tip about your pivot table. This pivot table is not directly linked to its source data. So anytime you change data within your two inputs tab here, these changes will not automatically appear in your pivot table. So what you need to do is refresh the pivot table periodically. To do this, right click within your pivot table and then select refresh. This will just make sure all of these indicators and all of the data related to those indicators are always up to date. This concludes the lesson on using pivot tables with the HTC data use tool. Thank you.